Let's go, Snoopy. Come. Let's go. That is the key, guys. That is the key. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come. That's it. You know you're going bald, right? All right. Let's go. Oh, go. Yay! Go on the other side. Go on the other side. Should be careful anywhere else to sit except for on me. Anyways, guys, good morning. I hope you're having an amazing day. I am uh, awake. It is nine o'clock, nine thirty actually. That means I woke up at eight thirty-nine ish. Um, I'm here to bring Subi to the grooming place because she needs a haircut. We're gonna do some fun stuff today with the wedding invitation boxes. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna drop her off inside and I'll see you soon. So, um, I slept in, right? And our appointment was supposed to be for nine and I got here at 9.30. So our appointment was for nine. And I woke up late, obviously, so she called. She's like, okay, you have to play my night. If you come here in half an hour, we can do it. I'm like, cool, so I left the house, got here for 9.30. And um, I come, and then she's on the phone for 15 minutes. And she's like, oh, yeah, you're supposed to be here for half an hour, but now you pass that. I've been standing here for the past 15 minutes. But anyways, I'm like, I'm in no mood to, like, argue. So she said, come back at 1.30, so now we're going to go home and then come back at 1.30. Oh, good birthday for no reason. <laughs> oh, you fuck, got you. <laughs> guys let's talk wedding shopping I know you guys have been asking me for the longest time where did my wedding shopping where did I buy my stuff where did I buy my jewelry where did I buy my outfits where did I buy my invitations and I'm about to answer all of your questions right now hopefully I answer all of them I did all my wedding shopping in India specifically in Delhi I've never been to Delhi before but my aunt she lives in Delhi and she's the one that took me everywhere to do all my shopping so thank you to her like thank you so 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 much it would I wouldn't have gone I wouldn't have finished my wedding shopping in seven days if it wasn't for her normally people go to India I don't know the stories that you guys heard but the stories that I've heard people say one month is not even close to enough to shop for your wedding in India but I finished all mine in seven days and I'm so proud of it and I'm gonna hold it for the rest of my life that you know what if I can do seven days, you guys can do seven days too. So I did all the shopping in India, in Delhi. I got my uh, reception outfit and my ceremony outfit, my morning ceremony for the temple from a boutique in India. It's called, what is it called again? Oh my God. Oh yeah, it's called Frontier. Uh, I think there's like, there's a, all, there's a location in Punjab as well in Faguara, a place called Faguara, but I got it from, I got it from the one that's in Delhi and they have massive selection. They have like so much variety, but I went in knowing exactly what kind of design I want, so it was easier for me. I bought my wedding outfits, the two of them, on the second day of my trip. Like, come on, guys, my wedding outfit, second day, like who does that? But I haven't received it yet, it still has to come here in the mail. So I got that from Frontier. All of my suits and stuff that I'm gonna be wearing on the pre-event and like after married and all that stuff, I got custom made. So I went to the store in John Lee Joke. Um, it's called Asiana Fabrics. So it's like a store, has three floors, and it's all fabric. Like any kind of fabric you can think of or any design they have, they have everything. You can make lingas, you can make dresses, you can make uh, suits, um, what else? Shradas, pajami suits, salwar suits, anything you want to ever make, they have. Like I could even, I probably could have gotten my um, civil ceremony dress made from there, but I'm like, I just want to get it from Canada. But now it's ending up getting made in like India anyway, so like whatever. But 
I got all of my fabrics from there. I did get, I did save like a bunch of inspiration on like what kind of suits I wanted beforehand, like before I went there. Like I saved a bunch of pictures and um, I went and picked up fabrics that I liked. If I didn't like something about a certain suit, I changed it and I made it to something else. But I got all the fabrics from there. And then from there, I took, I found a lady, like a boutique lady that makes like any kind of clothing um, in Delhi as well. She is in a place called Girlbug. Um, so I got it from, I got everything made from her. Like I got a couple of lingas made. Um, I got, obviously got saris made. Um, I, I did get like pre-made saris, like ones that were already like, oh, this is a sari. But I also got like, I bought fabric to make into a sari. So I got that, I got everything from that fabric store. And then from there I went to the boutique lady and I showed her like the designs that I want or if I want something changed, um, how I want it fitted or how I want to color coordinate or what kind of dupatta I wanted. And she literally made everything exactly how I want it. So like if you're gonna go shopping, if you're gonna buy something, you might as well get what you want. And instead of like buying something that you don't like certain things about it. So why not just custom make everything, right? So that's what I did with all my suits and stuff. Um, in terms of my bridal jewelry for my wedding day, I got all that from a store called Much More. It is in Krobug as well, it's near the boutique lady. So I got that from there. I got all of my bridal jewelry from there, um, including my Judah as well. Um, all my other jewelry from like, you know, just like the sets you wear, like the necklaces and earrings, the tikka and stuff you just wear to Indian events. I got that from John Nichok. Um, you know those, I don't know if you guys know, but there's like really like tight, literally it's like this big, like little pathways, we call it galina. So there's little pathways that you just go through and they have like all wholesale jewelry. People say, you know, be careful, obviously, you know, people steal, people do all that kind of stupidness, but we were there and we literally just went, I think two, th went through two of them and I got all of my jewelry from there. And they have like literally every single design in the world that you ever could think of. They have everything there. So like I got it all from there. Um, what else am I missing? My wedding invitation. I got that also from Delhi. Um, um, I got them made from a place called Ashoka Cards. And if you guys saw my previous video or you saw like the footage earlier, um, it's like it's like a box and you put the invitation inside of it and then you lift it you put the suits underneath so it's like you're just giving one thing to someone instead of giving a card and a box and different instructions and stuff and i just got different inserts made but if you guys want to do other custom designs they're open to do more custom designs as well they also show samples of a variety of different kinds and you can just pick from there as well if you want but I got those custom made as well because I wanted to do something a little bit different. I don't know if a lot of you guys do this, but apparently you get dishes or something. You buy, I don't know how a certain amount, whatever. My mom wanted to buy me dishes, you know, and we went, I got them from Dilly as well. It's like price, I think they go, it's like a price per, per kilo. So it's like, it was like, I don't know how much it was for one kilo of steel or whatever the material was. So we got it off from Dilly as well. Um, Really nice stuff. All the, like if you go to Indian store here to buy, dishes like the indian dishes it's so expensive so if you guys can get them from india and just parcel it over it'll be like the best thing ever maya stuff so all the maya stuff you know the the stool you sit on and like the the thing that you, you feed on and um like the ganne and um the, like the tallies and all that cool decorative stuff everything from Delhi. there's like so many stores that sell that kind of stuff we just went to the one that my aunt was familiar with and we just got it off from there and like you can get those little tiny cute bags which we put like all the almonds and stuff in um you can get pretty bags to put your suits in like with zippers on it to like store your suits in there instead of like just throwing them everywhere um what else and yeah so we like literally you can buy everything from india and if you guys have an opportunity to go to india for your shopping then do it i feel like if you if you're a massive like indian tradition freak not like tradition but like you like dressing up you love wearing suits you like jewelry you like custom making your own things and you're into all that and you do it often i recommend going to india and getting all of your stuff there like all together like getting a bunch that will last you a while but if you're a type of person that doesn't like all any of that doesn't really like jewelry doesn't really like dressing up in indian clothes or like whatever then you can just do your shopping here and, and it'll probably be it'll probably be better for you to just do it here because there's no point in going to india you're just gonna buy like the basic like just your langa or like two outfits or whatever if you're gonna buy a lot of stuff then it makes sense to go but if you're not then you can just get it locally and because i'm sure you could find anything where you live 
I think that is everything. If I did miss something, leave your comments and I'll answer them on this video. Leave your questions in the comment section and I'll answer them under this video. Other than that, I think I covered everything I got from India. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, I hope I answered a lot of you guys' questions. I know this video is probably way overdue because you've been asking me for the longest time ever. But yeah, so if you have any more questions that I didn't answer, leave a question down below. And make sure if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe right now so I can answer your other questions in my videos. And other than that, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Peace.